Okay, everybody, it's Eric with VBA String.com. And I'm going to show you today how to do a simple user form. Okay, this is a tip number eight. And first of all, to create a user form to enter data, uh, just go ahead and bring up your VBE, pressing F alternate uh, F11. Oh. Yeah, alternate F11 it toggles you back and forth between the Excel and I already had it open so anyway this is just a simple user form and there's another user form in here so I'm going to right click and I'm going to insert user form and the user form it will eventually appear depending on the speed of your machine and or I have a lot of process going I guess uh oh so if this happens, I'm going back here and I'm saying, okay, well, my form did appear. Here's my user form. I'm double clicking on it and I'm going to be entering information into my worksheet. So I'm going to select from my toolbox here, say toolbox, if you decide that you're going to lose it on accident. Uh -oh, let's see here. Wow, I get all kinds of st stuff here. Uh, okay, anyway, I'll, so I lost my toolbox. So a view toolbox brings it back again. That's just in case you say, oh my gosh, the guy told me to show the toolbox, but now it's gone. So I'm going to add two text boxes to enter first name and last name. And again, this, is, this reminds me of the VBA or the VB6 type controls, um, the toolbox, there's a real, it's like they are, they are the tools to use for VB6. First name and last name, I want this label to be the first name. So over here in the properties, I'm going to properties down here on the left. And if you should happen to lose them, uh, notice that you can re uh, if my properties go away. I can view them by clicking up here in the properties window here. So, and actually, I do, oh, I want the caption to be different. So I go down to the caption and I type in first, first name and Oh, then the last name, last name, <clears throat> again, you get the code over there at VBA string.com, and okay, I'm giving this text box a name called txt f name, and it's just better than text box one or text box two it gives it a level nine you don't really have to do this but it's always nice to to be specific in what you name your controls uh, last name l name okay so and then when i go ahead and i can either click the button to run it or i can click or press f5 and actually i'm not so you're on Oh, and I, before I forget, I didn't lose anything. So I'm good. Uh, command button to enter. So BTN enter is going to be my name. BTN enter. And the command button on the top is going to be called just plain enter. Okay. And I'm going to save this. Uh, by blah, blah, blah. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. And the, here I enter. Uh, if I enter in blah, 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 I get enter. It doesn't do anything. Why? Because there's no code here. <laughs> so if I want it. Oh, and this question actually came up yesterday. Somebody asked a question. How do you get to view from a worksheet? Well, what I would do is go to here, developer, and then insert uh, a control like a, I don't know, just, I, I just do a little simple form control. Uh, 
and then uh, button click is fine and I just want something to show show it so uh, back button whenever I click the button I want the user form one to show and I'm using that method right there to show and it's good now when I click on the button okay I click off click on the button bang and still how we Chandler and uh, voila still nothing happens uh, I mean at least I have the box to show now that's good so the way you get actually something to show up here is whenever I click um, whenever I click the user form whenever I press the button here it says this is object oriented object oriented programming if I click the button here I wanted to enter whatever I have in the in the box so it's going to be going off the going off the um, the current the the worksheet that has the focus right now so that's sheet number one uh, so I don't really need to describe what sheet it is. I just go ahead and uh, it, it's already going to enter it into cell A1 if I tell it to of the current worksheet. So range, I'm using this range thing, the range object, uh, the A1 tag, and I'm going to say uh, make it equal to whatever's in my text box. So. Um, Let's see, me, I'm using the me keyword because that's the user form that I'm using. So it's, it does has a, it refers back to itself. Me.txt for F name and range. Again, this is real basic stuff. So I'm not going to, and then equals. We kind of in future videos, we're, I'm going to expand upon this, but I'm just showing you basically how to how to do it. So I'm taking the information from the form and putting it into the into the worksheet. Okay, and uh, ooh, I need to save it. Control S. So now I'm going to go back to my worksheet here and click the button and show it, and I am going to call my name. Air global and enter now when I enter it it goes here yay so now it does something so now when I type in let's say sue uh, sue mead and I click the button sue mead and bang notice that I get a value those values I entered into the form get now transferred to the worksheet and I am good to go again if you like this uh, click the like button below and subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell to be made known that I get that you get notified of each video I release when I release it. Get the code at vbastring.com. Thank you and for your attention. Bye.